Well, it's uh, time to catch up with our new Chief Minister and uh, in the hallowed inner chambers. I don't know if I'm getting here. This is a good start. Uh, Mr. Cannon, obviously, congratulations. Um, but, you know, it, was it something you, you thought was a done deal straight away? I mean, I know there was a, a contest, but did it look like it was a done deal? No, it, it, it certainly wasn't a done deal. I set out, uh, first of all, to my constituents uh, for the general election that I would be willing to work with like-minded MHKs to achieve the best outcomes uh, in line with the manifesto that I, constituency manifesto that I put forward, but also to deliver the best outcomes mm. more broadly uh, for the island. Uh, and in coming, being successful at the general election and coming into a new House of Keys, uh, I found those like-minded MHKs, we agreed to work together and you know, I came forward to stand as Chief Minister as a result of that. Do you think you were better prepared for this than five years ago? I mean, was that something that you know, you, you, you'd done differently if you'd gotten well, there five well, years Well, one before? hopes after a further five years experience that, that, that hmm. you have a, a broader understanding of what's right and what's wrong and you, know, you also learn and develop yourself, um, particularly in my last role as a minister. Uh, I recognise perhaps you know areas of strength and weaknesses, and and the more you work with people, the more you understand uh, what you need to do to achieve in the political within the political system that we have. Now, obviously, picking your cabinet, you're not going to tell me much, I'm sure, but I mean there would be a few disappointed people, obviously a few very happy people, but um, you, your deck's limited anyway, isn't it? Was it tricky? without sounding that you couldn't get it you know, as you wanted. But I mean, is it a tricky, let's try that. Is it, is it tricky to pick what? the people you need from the 24? Well, it's tricky on, the, tricky on the basis that, uh, you know, you have 24 mm -hmm. MHKs and you only have eight positions uh, potentially available at, at ministerial level. You know, and within that, you've also got to get the right blend of people uh, according to the, you know, to, the, to, the, to the judgment that you have in terms of their ability to work together and what they're going to bring in terms of balance to a council of ministers. So yes, it's always tricky and you know, regrettably in all these cases, whether you're selecting a council of ministers or picking a football team, there's always going to be uh, people who are going to be dis disappointed potentially with the outcome. But I, look, you know, Politics is often full of di disappointments. You know, I've, I've said to everybody, we put these things behind us and we move on to the next mm. uh, phase of, of this uh, administration now, which will be putting together an island plan, having an open and frank discussion about the contents of that island plan, I hope in November, you know, and moving forward to shape that and confirming that in January. And do you think in, the, in, in this tenure of five years, there's a good chance that you would shuffle the pack? Because it hasn't happened before much. I mean, the last time anyway, it hasn't happened. Do you think there's a potential anyway? Well, I'm not going might... to make. I'm not going to make any definitive commitments either way. But of, of, mm. of course, you know, you would expect in a five-year term mm. that at some point uh, there's likely to be some movement and some and some shuffling, depending on you know what is what is what what, what outcomes are being uh, achieved and what delivery is is mm. being achieved and how people are working together. So so it's entirely possible that that will happen. You're going to communicate better, I understand. I mean, this is a good start. I mean, but you're going to have regular chats with the press and uh, try and put you know, your message across. Well, I mean, I've always been open to having regular chats, Paul, with, with the press, and nothing's going to change from that perspective. Oh, I hope we're going to look at refining one or, one or two things, uh, try, trying to make it a, a more open process in terms of understanding what is happening, particularly in the Council of Ministers. Uh, and you know we will potentially bring some some reforms okay. through in that respect, so that people understand better you know the issues of the day that we that we are dealing with. But in terms of my availability, you know, I don't tend to shy away from from having press press interviews. Mm. Uh, and indeed, having spoken to the other ministers, they too share that that that, that same opinion. So you're quite happy that the ministers and anybody else, of course, but ministers particularly can talk to the press. Of course, because it's not been that easy sometimes. It depends if you've got their ho ho phone numbers. Well, almost. I think I, I don't know what what relationship uh, has mm. gone on uh, overly with some with, talk, with some don't talk yeah. with with the with the uh, yeah. with the press office and things. I mean, you will understand that. Sometimes within government there are elements, strong policy elements that require a proper launch, that require a, a, a formalised discussion, require formalised presentation. There's a lot of issues of the day that don't. So you know, we, we'll get the right blend.